All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on the recent wave reveal from Super 7. This is for their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line, the sixth wave now, which does include Scratch. Ah, ah, ah. Oh man, so I really wanted to do a video on this one, just give my quick thoughts uh, with you guys. Um, these have been really amazing. Super 7 is now up to revealing their sixth wave for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures. And I'll put the link in the description to Toy News Eye where they've got the uh, details. It's also listed on Big Bad Toy Store if you want to do a, uh, a pre-order. So uh, this upcoming wave, uh, this is now the sixth wave for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures from Super 7. And uh, they're really awesome. I think every wave has uh, got some, uh, you know, uh, really amazing figures in it uh, so far. And... Um, it's a little tricky because we have NECA, who is also releasing their cartoon series uh, version of these characters pretty much at the same time uh, or in and around the same time. So uh, sometimes you get like a double up, uh, such as the case with uh, Ace Duck here, which is really cool. So I guess it depends if you prefer sort of the... Uh, the Playmates original uh, uh, figure versions, the toy versions of these characters, or if you would rather have the, um, you know, cartoon series version uh, that you saw in the cartoon, uh, which NECA can offer to you. Um, in their two packs. So this one here is Ace Duck. I like it. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I never had Ace Duck when I was younger. Uh, I think I saw him at the uh, Toys R Us, but uh, you know I was buying turtles instead. I didn't really, you know, we didn't get all the episodes in Canada, so I didn't really know. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to skip this one. Just get more turtles, right? Uh, turtles playing basketball. Turtles playing volleyball. Turtles, you know, <laughs> fireman turtles. Um, uh, so this one's pretty cool. I like the alternate head he comes with, which is kind of like he's got the uh, cigar in his uh, in his beak. It's not a mouth, right? It's, it's a it's a beak, right? Um, and just the amount of accessories they all come with. Um, it comes with the uh, is it assault uh, assault rifle, right? Or not assault rifle, like a minigun type of thing. Um, goggles even, which is kind of funny. And uh, I like the hat and stuff, and the turtle's jacket with the bat uh, at the back. Um, you know, turtles on it. Uh, these are really cool that you get the accessories, which are uh, sort of unpainted as well as an option, uh, just for that nostalgic feel. Uh, these are so cool, man. So Ace Duck is first. Uh, I might skip this one because I actually have pre-ordered the, um, the NECA cartoon series version. So I don't need, you know, two Ace Ducks in almost the same scale. A little bit different scale, but it's close. Then we got the uh, the Mousers. So this is going to be a five pack of the Mousers, which is pretty cool considering uh, Mousers are fun to army build. Um, so rather than like the Playmates version and whatnot where you get like a giant one Mouser, um, this is pretty cool to get five all at once. And they come with some other accessories here, which are also pretty sweet. Um, you know, I don't know for this one, uh, for me personally, uh, if you don't have any Mousers, this is a good one. Uh, one grab, you can just buy this one pack and you get, uh, it's a decent price, you know, the same price as all the other Super 7 figures and you get five mousers, which is pretty cool. Um, so I do, I do like it. The accessories are also cool too. You get these little turtles and stuff, right? So that's one little piece of pizza and stuff. So not bad, uh, an okay addition. Now this one is awesome, the Slash. Now again, um, NECA did the uh, arcade uh, tur or Turtles in Time uh, I think it was, um, you know, a uh, version of Slash. So it's it's somewhat similar if you have that one. I actually do have that one. Um, so it's a little bit little bit tricky, but this one does look imposing. Uh, some of the ones that Super 7 have been releasing are bigger, like the Bebop and Rocksteady. Um, so they're very cool. This one would be, again, if you like the original Playmates. If you had the original Playmates figure and you want to get kind of an updated version, um, amazing, right? Uh, we'll have to see kind of how big he is next to the turtles and, and that, but the Bebop and Rocksteady are huge. I also like the really, the pink uh, uh, weapons look really good in this uh, in this release, in this version. Um, for some reason, that just looks super cool to me. And again, you get the two different head sculpt uh, choices, one with the mouth open, one with a, uh, you know, a, a snarling type of uh, look for him. Um, another very cool one. I particularly like the knife that he comes with, with the, um, uh, the knife with the uh, the handle and the uh, jagged parts on it, but uh, a lot of different little cool uh, pieces with him as well, too. That's going to be a hard one to pass up as well. And then we have this one. Oh, this one just blew my mind because I actually had this one when I was younger. Um, I had the Slash 2, but this one as well. 
is just so amazing to see them redo it. And I think this one turned out incredible, which is the uh, sewer surf in Michelangelo. Uh, he's got the Cowabunga uh, surfboard. He's got the orange uh, accessories. And the two heads just makes it, the one with the, uh, the tongue coming out of the mouth. Um, and then the other one with him just smiling in the glasses and everything. This is this is like a must-have for me for a turtles as a turtles fan. And I actually do still have this one. I don't have all my Playmates turtle figures from when I was younger. A lot of them got uh, uh, destroyed in floods and things like this. But um, this one here, I actually do have this one still in the Playmates version. I actually re-got it a few years ago um, for a decent price. But this this just kills the older version. I mean, it looks so so incredible. He's got like the sculpted crab on his arm and that. <laughs> little, what are they? Little sharks or little little fish and stuff like that. It's just they just kill, knock it right out of. This is this is incredible. Uh, I can't help but get this one right. Like this is this one is irresistible to me. Even if I didn't collect the um, the series, which I do, this one would be uh, one that I would have to get just because that nostalgia vibe and just the look on the face, right? You just see the face and it's like, okay, yeah, all right, here's my money. Uh, and then finally, the big, the big one, the big reveal, which I actually did anticipate this one. I thought they were going to do it. So I'll tell you guys what was the deal with me. So, uh, you know, turtle, turtle collectors kind of have a, their holy grail for pretty much everybody, I think, for the, uh, the retro line, the, the Playmates line is Scratch. Uh, there are a few guys who've gotten really lucky and have gone to like garage sales or yard sales and have found a Scratch. And that's kind of like, uh, you know, for retro collectors, that's sort of like a, a dream come true. Like if you went to a yard sale and you found a Scratch for $2 or 50 cents, 50 cent bin or a few dollars maybe with accessories. Um, <laughs> and the person just never looked it up online to find out what he was worth. But I thought, you know, with all this buzz online and Scratch being like the hardest to find Turtles figure ever, um, I thought, you know, Super 7, at some point, they're going to do a Scratch because you, you just know it because people want a Scratch figure so bad. The old version's like $1,000 and in package is even more than that. Like, you know, you can see sometimes him on eBay go for $1,500 if it's sealed um, or even, even sometimes more, right? It's just crazy. Uh, how much a uh, the the older uh, the Playmate Scratch is, but so I, ha I I thought about getting one and then and then I held off because I said well what if Super Seven does one and uh, I just figured it'd be something that they would do because there's so much buzz for a Scratch and people want it right and sure enough here we are Wave Six already and they've decided to go for a, a Scratch maybe later they can do a Hot Spot uh, a lot of options for them here some of the other rare. Uh, retro turtle figures that they could do that people would just snap up. So this one, it's up for pre-order for now at Big Bad Toy Store. I think this is going to be a hot one, guys. I think that if you want to get it, probably get your pre-order in right away because I think this one's going to sell out as many as they make. I think it's going to sell out really quickly because people, so many turtle collectors have always wanted the cat burglar. I've always wanted Scratch. <laughs> so mutant cat burglar. Um, it's so fun, man. It's It always is the way, like, when the line is dying out and nobody wants you know, the figure like right at the end because they're tired of turtles. That's when something becomes super rare. And then 10 or 20 years later, it's like the most rare figure ever. You can't even find it and everyone wants it. So that's what happened. Here's the scratch. And uh, I think he looks amazing, guys. Really amazing. I also like the um, the head with the eyes pointing to the side, which is like he's sneaking around, right? Like he's like he's sneaking He's sneaking through, and he's got the eyes to the side of his head because he's kind of looking. You know, he's, he's a cat burglar, right? It's a number zero zero nine, right? Uh, nine lives, you know. So it's it's a cool, it's a really cool one. I, I like it. It's got the yellow accessories as well too. I have also seen these accessories on eBay for the retro version just by themselves go for 125, 150, 200 dollars for some of them. If you can find all of them together, you know, a few hundred dollars is kind of standard for the retro figure version. So to get an updated one which is you know going to have the newer articulation going to have the newer sculpt and everything it's just it's an incredible release and for me uh, i think it kind of completes the super 7 retro line i hope they continue and they just keep making more of them but after this i can kind of look at it and say like man they did a great job you know this is this is an incredible line to collect for fans of the uh, the playmates uh, figures and so thank you so much super 7 for doing this scratch i think it's your guys best release so far and your bebop and rock steady are pretty cool but i think that scratch scratch is your best best release you've done so far for fans for sure so many people wanted to get this guy and finally now you can in this version which is even you know i would say even superior to the to the older version which still has its nostalgic value and is still really cool and i'm sure it will still be worth a lot of money because it's the original one 
but uh, it's just cool that people are going to be able to get it because so many of us had thought about it and it was just outside of our price range for the retro one. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about the Super 7 TMNT figures. How, what do you think about them versus the NECA ones? Um, because they're, a lot of their releases are very similar. Uh, leave your comments below. And that's it for this video, guys. We'll see you again soon for another. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace later, guys. See you soon.